Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn any cable into a spiral cable. For this tutorial you will need a heat gun, or a really hot hair dryer, some clamps or soft clamps, a pencil, and the cable you want to use. We begin by clamping the cable to the pencil where you want the spiral to start. And then just slowly, turn by turn, just like making a spring, we start to rotate it. Make sure it's got a tight fit, and then just keep going. Make sure it's tight and taut. And this technique pretty much works with any cable, especially if it's round like this. All right, so now I'm going to clamp the other side. Now taking your heat gun, we're going to hit it for a minute or two here until we know it's softened up. You will be able to smell it. Um, also, if you touch it, you can see how hot it is. I mean, obviously, you don't want to do it too long. It all depends on the heat gun, and if you're using a hair dryer, you're obviously going to have to do it a little longer. And if you do it too long, you don't want these points actually melting the where you have to pull it apart. So now you can either let it sit for an hour or put it in the freezer for a couple minutes. I'll be right back in a couple minutes. So I just pulled it out of the freezer. It's been about hmm, three to five minutes. It feels pretty cold. Obviously, the metal's a lot colder than the plastic. So let's see how we did. Now, um, I may be a little embarrassed because if this doesn't turn out okay, but that just means that I needed to heat it up, heat it up more or cool it more. So it uh, looks like it's doing okay. So now you have a spiral cable. So a couple things I'm noticing just by this uh, this test run with it. Um, the last time I did it, I manually held one end and then taped the other end. And I don't know if you can see, but it looks like the clamps were a little too rough on it. So you may want to put a paper towel in between clamping it or use a softer clamp, one that's not doesn't have so much pressure on it. Um, also, I can tell at the ends it seems a little loopy, so I mean we can just straighten those back out if necessary. Um, but I would recommend making sure you heat that up as well and not just the center like I was. But for the most part, it, it does what it needs to. It's now a spiral bouncy cable so if you're pulling on your device it'll have some give rather than just rip it out now the downside to the to this is it does significantly decrease the length of the cable however you're not spending an extra ten to fifteen dollars to have a spiral cable you can just turn a pre-existing one into a spiral cable and as i said this works on pretty much any device or um, pretty much any cable that has the rounded 
And that's it. Have a great one.